How's it going, people? Uh, welcome back. I have another one of these. And read another section of the DNC. At least one more. Because the last one was so damn good. Section 106, Revelation, given through Joseph Smith the Prophet at Kirtland, Ohio, November 25th, 1834. Warren A. Cowdery is named as a local presiding officer. Great blessings promised him on condition of his obedience. Nearness and suddenness of the Lord's future advent. <sighs> One. It is my will that my servant, Warren A. Cowdery, should be appointed and ordained a presiding high priest and witch doctor, a shaman, um, over my church in the land of freedom and the regions round about, too, and should preach my everlasting gospel, but often changing, um, and lift up his voice to and warn the people not only of not only in his own place but in the adjoining counties three and devote his whole time to his high and holy calling which I now give unto him uh, seeking diligently the kingdom of heaven and its righteousness, and all things necessary shall be added thereunto, for the laborer is worthy of his hire. Four. And again, verily, say unto you, the coming of the Lord draweth nigh, and it overtaketh the world as a thief in the night. Five. A very good thief. One that doesn't make much noise. All right. Therefore, gird up your loins, whatever that means. Pull your pants up, I think. Uh, that you may be the children of light. And that day shall not overtake you as a thief. Six. And again, verily I say unto you, <coughs> there was joy in heaven when the servant, when my servant, Warren, bowed to my scepter and separated himself from the the crafts of men. Sounds kinky. Could be just me. Um, seven. Therefore, blessed is my servant Warren, for I will have mercy on him. And notwithstanding the vanity of his heart, I will lift him up inasmuch as he will humble himself before me and his scepter. Eight. And I will give him grace and assurance wherewith he may stand 
and if he continued to, to be a faithful witness and a light unto the church, I have prepared a crown for him in the mansions of my father, even so, amen. What's this condition, even if? I mean, isn't this God speaking who knows everything that's going to happen? It seems like he doesn't know everything that's going to happen. And Joey's a prophet. He should know everything, too. I don't know. I'm obviously just incapable of figuring this out. But maybe you can, and you'll explain it to me. Okay? Anyway, that's about all I can stand for one day. Peace the fuck out. Have a wonderful whatever the fuck it is you're having. And we'll do something else next time. Bye.